Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am absolutely delighted to welcome you all to our first ever virtual awards ceremony. This event marks our 87th year of achievements in St Woden's High School. My name is Rob Lewis, Principal Teacher of Arts, Culture and Health, and I'm delighted to be introducing each of our award categories this evening. As you're aware, this academic year, 2019-2020, has been a year like no other. Despite the global events which have taken place, the ethos and sense of community of our school has remained intact. Our pupils and family and staff have risen to each and every challenge with aplomb. We celebrate some of the magnificent achievements of our young people this evening in a very unusual manner, using technology like never before. This type of event can bring challenges, but it also allows us to recognise a much wider range of awards, from sporting and community achievements to pupils simply being ready, respectful and responsible, as well as the more traditional academic attainment. The following presentation gives us a small taster of the massive range of activities our young people engaged in last session. Sit back and enjoy, but keep an eye out to see if you can spot anyone you know.
I'm sure you will all agree that that presentation was inspirational and a very hard act to follow. So who better to meet this challenge than our fantastic head boy and head girl for this session? George Gornell and Cameron Dick will tell us what makes St Woden so special for them. My name is George and I'm head boy at St Woden's High School. I'm Cameron and I'm head girl. In normal circumstances, we would be presenting our speeches at an award ceremony in a Benedict Hall to a large audience. Unfortunately, this year we cannot do that. However, the awards presented tonight mean no, no less. In fact, quite the opposite. The resilience and dedication that all pupils have shown in the past year in the face of adversity perfectly demonstrate the work ethic and determination that our school has always encouraged. These awards came out of what is most likely to be the most challenging time in the cycle of pupils' high school career. Uh, and the achievements noted in such a time is such a credit to our school community is capable of. This year is a unique experience for everyone, but our experience at Simone's High School has been really important. I came up to Simone's only knowing a handful of people, however, the school was able to offer, offer me opportunities to make lifelong friends and as shape a person I am today. I was quite the opposite from George. I came up from one of the larger schools that come to Simone's, and there was already such a sense of community at the primary school I went to. But St Moans was just an extension of this. George will say the same, as soon as we all came from the primary schools, we all came into one family. The sense of community is what defines St Moans. This has been shown really strongly in the last few years through things such as our, the support for the Movember campaign, the reaction support for, throughout COVID for pupils and teachers, especially with the stress of exams, and coming back to school in August with all the changes. St Moans became a hub for the three areas that we bring pupils in from. And finally, for the support for Miss Hogg and her family after losing her so unfortunately this year. Although some people might be a bit embarrassed to admit how much they actually do love the school community and how much it means to them. Uh, I personally noticed it a lot this year with everyone applying to university. I think it's really just hit home this year with the SX is that we're going to be leaving here. We won't have the proper comforts that we have the past six years, things like Miss Pennock wishing us good morning every day and, people, and teachers chasing us up for missing assignments that I don't think many other teachers would care about as much but the teacher-pupil relationship at this school is just extraordinary, everyone really looks out for each other and it's something that I don't know how many of us will get the experience of after high school. The feeling of security, safety and purpose of Samoa is something that every pupil feels, no matter their background or where they're from. And we are all truly grateful for everything that school offers us through the opportunities and experiences that we couldn't get anywhere else. Thank you for joining us tonight and we hope you enjoy the rest of your virtual awards evening. Thank you. Well done, George and Cameron. Truly inspirational words from two of our finest pupils. As it is a Friday evening and the weekend has officially begun, perhaps it is time for a socially distanced dance to get us into the celebratory spirit. Thanks to Miss Glenn and her fantastic dancers. I am now delighted to introduce our newly appointed head teacher and the first female head teacher in the history of St Woden's High School, Mrs Claire Friel. Good evening everyone. I would like to extend my congratulations to all of our award winners tonight. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves and I know that your families will be beaming with pride too. To say this has been an unusual year is a huge understatement. 
Our community has gone through so much, and yet the resilience demonstrated by our pupils has been exceptional. And tonight's award ceremony has shown that even COVID and lockdown has not defeated the St. Lawrence pupils and their talent shine through. We started our term in August not just with COVID to contend with, but also minus two St. Lawrence legends, Mrs. McMenemy and Mr. Daniel. Mrs. McMenemy from the Art Department had been a teacher in St. Lawrence for 30 years from August 1990 to August 2020. She's a highly respected teacher and was the go-to person for creative projects in the school, everything from school show costumes to Royal Stuart Ball design and decorations, the list goes on. Her contribution went well beyond the classroom and her passion for her subject and her passion for education shone through in everything she did. She inspired the next generation of young artists and supported them in every single step of their journey. We could not thank her enough for everything that she's done to the school in her 30 years, and we miss her terribly. We'd also like to say goodbye to my predecessor, Mr. Ray O'Neill. Mr. O'Neill started as a deputy head teacher in May 2004 and became head teacher in April 2011. In his 16 years at St. Modens, he saw the school through a number of significant changes particularly developments in the curriculum, starting off with Curriculum for Excellence and then expanding pathways in the senior phase. He opened the tiny farm. He re redeveloped the library, which is now the Alan McCann Library. And he designed and oversaw the opening of our state-of-the-art vocational training centre. And this facility has made a huge difference to the choices available to young people in our school, particularly in the senior phase. And it ensures, it ensures that many, many pupils can now access a curriculum that best suits their future career aspirations. The buzz in the training centre is amazing. You may see some of that tonight. Pupils are happy as they expand their knowledge of, the, of vocational education and develop their practical skills. We miss Mr. Emil very much, but we know that he and his wife Tina will be able to send us postcards from exotic locations around the world when the restrictions are lifted and they begin their new adventures and we're sending them all our love. So we hope that in the future our retirees will be able to celebrate with us and we look forward to those, those days. Back to our wonderful pupils. This evening celebrates both academic achievement of some of our pupils as well as wider achievements of other pupils and some of that happened before, during and after lockdown. And we know that our pupils have made a huge contribution to the communities that they're living in. And we're very proud of that. The celebration of all achievements is very important to us. And it makes our school a wonderful, wonderful place to learn in. We're immensely proud of you all. And I would like to congratulate you again. And I hope you enjoy celebrating your achievements this evening. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Mrs. Friel, for your valued thoughts on last year. We now interrupt this programme for an important news message from a former pupil of St. Bowden's. Hello everyone, Sarah from STV News here. I just wanted to say a massive well done to everyone who's won an award. I think most people could do with a medal for getting through 2020 so far. So if you've managed to do something exceptional during this time, it's really something to be very proud of. But you're not finished yet. Keep going, keep working hard and all the good things will come to you. Best of luck for your 2021 and congratulations. Thanks to Sarah McMullen for such an impressive message. We're all so proud of you, Sarah. Best wishes for your career in news media and journalism.
We try to recognise our pupils' achievements in as many ways as possible, from our wall of wonder to our star pupil cards to our hot chocolate Fridays. Many departments also have monthly recognition of pupils' achievements in each subject. Our pupils are all fantastic in so many ways. With this thought in mind, we will now begin our awards this evening. The names on the following slides are of our current pupils from S1 to S6 who received a praise postcard in September 2020 for being ready, respectful and responsible in terms of exemplary behaviour and effort. Each category of awards will be accompanied by a musical performance from our talented young people. Some of these by necessity have had to come from our archives, but some of these instrumentals are box fresh. Names of performers such as our piper, dancers and musicians will appear in our end credits, so please keep watching till the end. Time now for another congratulatory message from a former pupil, a man who has made us all smile in various Scottish TV comedies such as Rab C. Nesbitt and Only an Excuse. He was also, and perhaps most importantly, a fantastic award ceremony guest of honour in 2018. Hi there, this is Philip Differ, <clears throat> former pupil of St Morden's High School. I attended uh, St Morden's 1968 to 1974 and when I left school, uh, I left school with a great prize, something I was very proud of. I had the longest hair in six years and I know that's hard to believe now. Um, just remember uh, in all these troubled, crazy Covid times, uh, when you look back, these are the good old days. So enjoy your achievements as well as your plans and have a great time tonight. Stay cool. Cheers. Thank you to Phil for his message. Our next category of awards celebrates young people and some of the contributions they have made to their community during lockdown. A difficult time for everyone, but especially for any teenager.
Well done to all of our young people. Many of the nominations for our lockdown heroes came from pupils, parents or carers. They are on display in our atrium and aim to recognise the everyday brilliance in everyone. If you would like to nominate a pupil or classmate for any achievement in the next round of Wall of Wonder, please contact the school or use the hashtag STMWOW on Twitter. <laughs> We now move on to some of my favourite awards. Yes, that's right, sports awards. We held our first sports award ceremony at St Warden's in June 2019. Unfortunately, we were unable to build upon the success of our inaugural event in 2020 and completion of the sporting year has been challenging to say the least. Having said that, we can still celebrate a number of fantastic achievements last session. Before we do, Let's hear from the managers of two of our local football teams. Hello guys, David McCracken here, one of the co-managers at Falkirk Football Club. Just want to say a massive congratulations to all the pupils at St Modens High School. You guys are doing a fantastic job just now, alright? Uh, and for everyone who's receiving an award for a sporting or academic achievement, listen, well done, alright? It's been a tough year, alright? Tough times for everyone, but you are doing fantastic, alright? Keep it up, stay safe. And we wish you all the best. Hi everybody, this is Kevin Mukovic, manager of Stirling Albion Football Club. Um, I'd first like to hope and, and wish you all good health through these weird and wonderful times. Um, and apparently there's been a lot of success at St Modens um, over the last year. So I would like to offer my congratulations to every pupil who's done well academically and in the sporting fields. Uh, not only are you doing well in one, you're doing well in, well in two, and I'm trying to do well in one and failing. So, um, very well done. I wish you good health. I wish you all a very happy Christmas when it comes, and hopefully, when everything settles down, the players and I can visit and we can we can have some fun on that football park that you that you've got beside the school. So, well done again, and all the best. Thank you.
Hello, Ryan Wilson here from Glasgow Warriors and Scotland Rugby. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish all the students at St Modens High School all the very best and a massive congratulations for their academic and sporting achievements. Well done and congratulations again. Arrest six pupils from last session, along with the other pupils in S4 and S5 who chose to leave school were perhaps those young people who were most affected with the closure of the school in late March. We were unable to say goodbye in any meaningful way and events such as the S6 Leavers Mass and Valedictory Dinner were simply not possible. With this in mind, the next presentation is a tribute to the class of 2014. We won't forget any of you, although your lives will have no doubt moved on and new employment or further studies have already begun, never forget that you're always a member of the St Woden's community. I hope that we can see our 2020 leavers at some point soon. It'd be great to see all of you in the future and hear how well you are all doing. Before we move on to our next category, perhaps it's time for another dance. This time we visit our vocational training centre to see some of our senior pupils tidying up.
some amazing moves there to rival any episode of Strictly. We now move on to our Senior Academic Awards, which recognise some of our highest attaining pupils in S4 to S6 last session. These are pupils who are ranked highest or joint highest in each subject. Pupils will receive award certificates at a later date. Subject award winners with a trophy or shield can also arrange a photo opportunity via the school office. We begin with Academic Excellence Awards in S4 and S5. We now move on to the awards to students in the Faculty of Arts, Culture and Health. Thank you. 
We now move on to award winners in the Faculty of Math, Science and Technology. As you may already know, we lost one of our most loved and cherished members of our school community this session. Miss Pauline Hogg was a great physics and PSD teacher who cared passionately about her subject and the young people whom she taught. As a tribute to Pauline and the effect she had on so many young people, we are delighted to announce with the support of our family the introduction of a new award and trophy in our memory. This award recognises young people studying physics who, like Pauline, had to overcome challenges. I am proud to introduce a short tribute to Pauline.
We now move on to our whole school awards for 2019-2020. We will organise for the pupils who receive these awards to come into school at an appropriate time to get a photograph and to see our heritage board in the atrium which will soon have their names added.
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that concludes our first ever virtual award ceremony. A massive well done to all of our winners. Certificates for subject awards will be issued soon. Please contact the school office to arrange a photo op with your trophy. A huge thank you to all of the pupils, staff and volunteers who contributed in order to make this event possible. A big thank you to all of our guest contributors. Do let us know of any achievements which you would like the school to recognise for someone that you know. Thank you all for watching. Good night and God bless. I'm going to show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. Great I am. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm going to show you how great I am. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond.